In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can access Alex through Clever. So we use Alex for grades 6 through 12, and it is a math program. The reason we decided to go through Clever is because Clever will roster through PowerSchool. So if you remember last year, if a student had to move to another class, you had to contact either Dana Edmonds or myself, and you know you would email us maybe we'd see it that day maybe we wouldn't check our email if we were at a conference and then you had to wait three days um, to make that change now rostering through clever if there is a schedule change when power school updates at night it's automatically reflected um, for the students and for you more importantly <laughs> so the way that i get to clever is I use the WLS bookmarks right here and then I, I choose Clever right here, Clever Login. And if you notice the URL, it's clever.com backslash WLS for kids. So it's a link. It's, it gets you there a little faster, I think. There's also a Clever Login in your extensions. So if you click on the black puzzle piece to get to your extensions, there's a clever login also, and you could pin that and put it up here. If it's e then it's even easier. It's just a button. So I'm going to do that. So this is a high school teacher's clever login. So I'm going to show you a high school. I'm going to show you a junior high, and I'm going to show you an elementary sixth grade um, clever landing page, just so you have an idea. So high school is a little interesting because you can see you have a McGraw Hill, which Alex is a McGraw Hill product. And you also have McGraw-Hill Alex. So we're not going to use this one. We are going to actually use the McGraw-Hill. So I'm going to click on that. And the beauty of rostering through Clever is I did not have to log in at all. If you do, for some reason, see the login page for you to put a username and password, exit out of it, go back to Clever, click on McGraw-Hill again, because this is what you should see. So we've got all of Paula's classes here. She clicks on it, and then that will take her to the Alex screen. Once again, no username, no password. It's boom, you are in. Good to go. Now, let me show you a junior high teacher's page. Okay, so here is the My Teacher page, the district page, the Shared With Me. So you notice there's a big new button. So this may look... Um, your Clever portal may look a little new, so, you know, they do updates just like Google, so navigate around and click around. So here is McGraw-Hill. Notice there is no Alex option here. But if I go to the district page, there is Alex there. So I'm going to go back to my teacher page. I'm going to click on McGraw-Hill. Now, because the junior high also has books with McGraw-Hill, they have more options. So here are all of these um, options for, uh, you've got Glencoe Math, um, but right here is Alex. So I'm gonna click on that, and here are my classes. So that's a junior high. So now let me show you an elementary. All right, so here is a sixth grade teacher's page. Once again, we have the My Teacher page, District page, Shared With Me. I'm going to click on McGraw-Hill. If you don't see McGraw-Hill on your teacher page, you can go to the district page and click on McGraw-Hill. Not McGraw-Hill Alex. I know that seems weird. <laughs> um, but you're going to click on McGraw-Hill. And once again, it takes you right to your um, Alex stuff. So they, so sixth grade also has the Glencoe Math. Um, but Alex is right here on this page. So it's all in the same place, which is nice. Here is a sixth grade student's Clever login. So they log in, takes them to this page. They're going to click on McGraw Hill. And it takes them to here are their books. And click on Alex right here, click on the little picture and it takes the student directly into Alex, no more remembering their Alex passcode that they automatically, you know, that they assign to the students. It gives them a little tutorial. 
which is always good. So for this student, they're pretty organized. They have uh, saved different apps so that it shows up at the top. So you can show your students how to do that by simply going down to the student dis uh, resources and all they have to do is right next to there's a little heart and they just click on it if it's if it's um, red background that means it's favorited it's up here notice when oh when I click on the heart you have to click directly on the heart it's gone when I click on it again it appears up here so and you just get a you know get organized all right that's how do you that's how you get to Alex through clever